assalamu alaikum students this is javed iqbal and today uh, i am going to teach you about the poem daffodils and this poem has been written by the poet william wordsworth uh, william wordsworth um, was the poet of nature and uh, he worked a lot uh, for the romantic poetry as well and uh, in his era um, the 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 situation or the or the uh, the position of the people was not that much uh, good so he worked uh, a lot for the betterment of his Uh, society for the betterment of the people as well so mostly these uh, these poets especially the poets of the uh, the, the romantic poets uh, they were such kind of poets uh, who who always wrote for the betterment of the society who always wrote for the oppressed and uh, who always wrote for the poor um, those who were living the life below the average line so he especially uh, write his poem uh, wrote his poems for such people as well so in this poem the uh, the, the 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 poet uh, he basically explains the uh, ex- experience of his life when he was alone so what he observed uh, on the hills and uh, while he was passing uh, along the along the hills and the hills so what he observed so let's start uh, uh, what the writer let's start the first stanza i wander lonely as a cloud that floats on higher hills and hills when all at once i saw a crowd a host of golden daffodils beside the lake beneath the trees fluttering and dancing in the breeze so in the first stanza uh, there is an introduction of the poem the writer uh, the poem is the poet is introducing himself that i wander lonely as a cloud so this line means that uh, the poet uh, was alone and uh, when he was uh, wandering uh, on the vales uh, uh, and the hills uh, so what he observed what he saw he saw the large number of daffodils uh, and uh, that was uh, fluttering and dancing uh, uh, beside the lakes and beneath the trees as well okay so uh, sometime they were dancing uh, with the help of wind and sometime they were dancing by their own and uh, that was just uh, that it creates an everlasting impression on the human minds and it creates a very uh, it 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 creates more beauty it increases the beauty of the nature and it increases more beauty of that place so that was the experience of the poet when he was uh, observing him alone and when he was uh, moving from one place to the other so coming to the next stanza <laughs> In the next stanza, uh, what the poet is telling us: "Continuous as star uh, that shine and twinkle on the Milky Way, they stretched in never-ending line along the margin of bay. Ten thousand saw I at a glance, tossing their heads in sprightly dance." Okay, so in this uh, stanza, uh, the poet is telling us that they were moving continuously. They had continuously a star. They were moving uh, continuously as the stars are moving in the night. Okay, uh, we can take the example of stars in the night. That uh, uh, normally when we see, when we look at the stars in the night, so what we observe, we can easily observe that they are moving from one place to the other, and uh, they never stop. Okay, once they move, they never stop. So, so same was the position of the daffodils. Okay, when he saw the daffodils, they were continuously moving and they never stop. And uh, they were moving, they were stretching and uh, in never-ending line. Means that uh, they were in huge number, they were in enormous number. And uh, wherever the poet looked, um, he saw the daffodils. Okay, so along the margin of the bay. Okay, bay on the, that when he looked at the last point of the bay, so he saw the daffodils. as well so 10000 i saw at a glance okay glance mean happy uh, when a some when a person is in a happy situation in a happy mood so at a glance okay so it means that he saw 10000 daffodils uh, in one moment in one eye in one look so tossing their heads in sprightly dance tossing mean that they were moving their heads okay the dumb, the daffodils they were moving their heads and they were they were moving from one uh, they, sometime they were changing their position and sometime they were bending themselves that was all you know, just because of the air that was all just because of the wind but on the other hand what uh, the poet is telling us that it creates an everlasting impression and it increases the beauty of uh, nature as well so this is uh, all about the daffodils and uh, today we have uh, we will just read the two stanzas and uh, in the last what i have to tell you look at this note uh, students and uh, you have to write word synonyms and question answers on your need copies and all the work is present in notes uh, which is already given to you on the uh, on the result day as well so 
if you have any problem if you have any question you can come to the school at any time and you can ask me and uh, just uh, you just wait for the next lecture uh, we are left with the two stanzas and um, i will uh, we will uh, read the next two stanza, stanzas in the next class so thank you for this uh, for giving us your time and uh, see you inshallah in the next lecture thank you love your students